It's been three days since a baby girl and her mother were killed inside their Chesterfield home. The man who did it, police say, was the child's own father. And tonight, we meet a Richmond police officer dedicating her life to helping victims of domestic abuse after witnessing her own mother's murder more than 20 years ago. Tracy Sears has the story. Yeah, while Carol Adams says she still suffers from her own emotional scars, she has spent the last decade of her life helping other victims. Now her foundation is reaching even greater heights, providing a safe haven to people who have no place else to turn. Star Miles finally has a place to call home, a safe place for her three daughters. I got on my knees and I prayed, thanking him, thanking you, thanking all of you all for all that you guys do. Thanks in part to a woman who has walked in her shoes. I'm extremely grateful. We are not used to anything like this. For 15 years, Miles suffered abuse at the hands of a controlling husband until Honestly, February of 2011, when he took a gun and shot her in the head in front of their young children. Doctors have told me that I'm a miracle. They don't understand how I could have made it. I've had 15 surgeries uh, within these four years. Struggling as a single mother with permanent disabilities wasn't easy. Why be ordinary when you can be extraordinary? And that's what you have to work for every day. Then Miles met Sergeant Carol Adams, a Richmond police officer who witnessed her own mother's death as a teenager. Since 2004, Adams has helped raise funds for victims of domestic abuse. We have a clothes closet. We have a furniture closet. Now, for the first time, the Carol Adams Foundation is providing a home. My goal was when they came here for them to bring nothing but themselves in their clothes. I didn't want them to bring anything because I wanted this to be a new beginning, a fresh start for them. That's something Miles says she never thought she'd have. I love you so much. I love you too, girl. <laughs> Miles says for the first time in years, she can sleep, knowing her children are safe with a brighter future ahead of them. I just want the best for them. I want them to have a better life than what I was able to give them. Now, this is just the start for the Carol Adams Foundation. Plans are already in the works for a second home. Thanks to a partnership with Verizon and donors, Adams says her foundation will continue to grow. Back to you, Candace.